hello, I know with all the, I keep reviewing all these new releases and I haven't seen Scream 6 yet because I reviewed all the other Scream movies. Don't worry, I'll still see Scream 6. It's just no one's had the time to come with me, so I'm still pretty late for it, but I will definitely see it soon. Oh, why am I saying this? No, none of you would actually care. Mario's, this is the only movie that out currently that you all care about me talking about so why do i even bother explaining stuff so yeah i went to see mario today this is my review of it so the plot of this movie is where mario and luigi played by chris pratt and charlie day are two italian plumbers from brooklyn who are basically just normal everyday plumbers they have they have an apartment in brooklyn live with their family and they're really they're really f close to each other, and then one day Luigi enters this pipe that transports him to another world, and he gets taken by, he gets ta lost and taken into this dungeon, and where he's captured, and Mario eventually goes in, goes through it and r tries to find Luigi. So Mario comes across a lot of characters, including Toad, played by Keegan Michael Key, Donkey Kong, played by Seth Rogen, and Princess Peach, played by Anya Taylor Joy, and and uh, Princess Peach is Mario, basically Mario's sidekick for the movie. And Bowser, who's played by Jack Black, wants to, who keeps Luigi as a prisoner, wants to marry Princess Peach. So they all go on a big adventure to try and save Luigi. And Princess Peach tries to avoid trying to get married to Bowser. Yeah, I actually had a really fun time with this movie. Honestly, I. I think maybe besides John Wick Chapter 4, I think this might be my favorite movie of the year so far, or second favorite in this case, because I actually really had a fun time with this movie. Personally, if you're asking, even though I don't really game much, I have definitely played some Mario games, and they're fun. I like them. I like they're very colorful, they're very unique, and you know, they kind of have a really cool cool world and visual style to them and they're all they always have really fun gameplay but like obviously i'm not really one to say about game accuracy really because i'm not a huge gamer but honestly this is just as mario as you can get for a mario movie because the last time they tried to do a mario movie yeah this is this is like infinity times better like this actually feels like a mario movie and it goes to show that it's better off animated like all the worlds that mario goes through like it really shows that these games translate better in animation and like visually i think this might be illumination's best looking movie like visually it looks great like the textures on like mario and luigi's mustaches or their overalls or even lots of the backgrounds like lots of the mushrooms look great and like i know it's kind of it feels a little when i first saw the trailer for this movie it felt a little weird kind of seeing uh all mario characters and worlds with these added textures because i'm used to them being so simplistic but i actually really got used to their design to everything else including the character designs and I think the characters were all really fun. They definitely match up with how they are in the games. But I know I'm kind of contradicting myself saying I'm not really comparing these to games. But, like, they're really what you'd expect from the Mario characters. Like, Mario, he's he's a plumber. He's the unlikely hero. He's, like, the guy who doesn't really want an adventure. But you can see that he really cares about his brother. And he really wants to save him. So, he can't so he never gives up and that's kind of the thing with uh peach her peach has like this thing with mario like sh she knows is that mario never gives up so it's kind of a it's a good way to show that they know the character of mario of how like he's willing to save somebody because like he tries to save peach in the games which yeah in the movie he doesn't try to save peach in the in this movie he teams up with him as well as toad her as well as toad and you know what? I know there's going to be those people who are complaining about Peach not Peach being a woman who's strong and Luigi has to get captured. But me personally, I don't care because I'm not one of those people who complain. No, I'm... And not only that, but I think within this story, it really works. Because 
earlier in the movie shows Mario and Luigi are very close brothers. Like they have a really great relationship with each other. Like they're not just, you know, the typical brothers who just fight all the time or like, you know, torment each other. No, they're actually, they work together. They're really friendly and they, and it really worked because it makes it more emotional for Mario of trying to save someone because he's not going to, He's definitely going to get more emotional over his brother getting captured than some random princess he just met. And I know lots of people are divided over Chris Pratt as Mario. Like, I could definitely understand me. I didn't mind him. Honestly, it's actually... I mean, it is kind of weird, like, hearing Mario with, like, a New York accent because he's from Brooklyn in this movie, and it's... It is kind of weird at first, like, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Or, like, it's really weird. I mean, yeah, there are some times where you just look, woohoo, and kind of stuff. But, like, heck, there's even a joke, actually, like, early in the movie where they're doing a plumbing commercial and they do fake Italian accents. And then Mario says, is the accent too much? Like, they do kind of, they do at least acknowledge it. But it's not, like, that it's not that distracting because honestly, I guess it, yeah, it's better than because Mario didn't really talk in the game so much. So I guess they wanted to give him more of a character here. And I, and even the other cast, like Keegan Michael Key plays Toad, who I don't know if he actually put on a voice or if they just, or if they just distorted it in post production. I don't know. But like, he definitely does have that Toad like voice where. It, he, his voice is a little high, but it's it's not to the point of annoyance like in the games. Like he's not like ah! no, he's but he's he was fun. I thought he was a cool sidekick. Like he's the kind of character in this movie you think would get annoying, but for some reason they make him really likable. And I actually thought he was a fun little. He's kind of like the comic relief a bit, and I thought he was very cute. And I thought. He was very like, well, him and Mario have a lot of great scenes together. I mean, he was the first character that Mario um, Mario meets in this movie when it comes to the the world and stuff in the Mushroom Kingdom. And and it's and of course the one who seals the show, Jack Black is Bowser. He's he was honestly the perfect choice for Beck because he actually really sounds like how you think Bowser would sound like. Like, he's got a very strong, intimidating voice. And, like, I think they kind of, just like maybe what, like I said with Keegan Mark, I think, like, it kind of sounds like they distorted Jack Black's voice a little bit, which I'm pretty sure they did. But it really works. It's a really good voice for Bowser. I think he really, he was really a fun villain. He actually, because we all know Jack Black can't, is a singer as well so he actually does have a musical number in this in this movie and it was it was really fun and it really shows how entertaining and over the top of a villain he was like he was fun. like every character in this movie is just like how you think a character characters in a mario these mario characters are and like they even go all out with so many characters like it's not just you know the basic first game like they go through like a bunch of characters like they meet donkey kong who's really fun every time he showed up i really had a fun with him like when they go to the donkey kong like arena and stuff and they see like his family and such like that was really fun probably one of the highlights of the movie for me i really liked seeing donkey kong because i really like donkey kong as a character i i've only played a few of his games but but he's a lot of fun like he's a very fun character and Seth Rogen like he had a he definitely had a good voice for him and even so the like um Kevin Michael Richardson plays this um I think it's called a Magic Koopa and which is weird because it sounded nothing like him like he sounded like a mix between James Hong and Jerry Lewis like he didn't sound he's like he sounds like this. Like it's weird. Like when you think Kevin Michael Richardson, you would think he would have like a super low voice, but for some reason he doesn't hear. So guess he's more talented than I would give him credit for. And it really and there's even a lot of Easter eggs. Like if you're a Nintendo fan, like there's gonna be a lot you enjoy. Like even like in the backgrounds and such. Like they mentioned like some Nintendo games like in the beginning, like when 
you see Brooklyn, like there's shops and such that name like a bunch of, or stores and such are named after certain Nintendo games. And sometimes they even have, they reuse like some of the Mario score, video game score for this movie. They do their own rendition of it. And it's really fun. Like even if you're not a gamer, like it's just such a fun and like really inventive movie, which I mean, I guess that's not really a fair thing because lots of this existed from games, but it's just a really fun time. And I had, I had a blast with it. Like, this year is looking like a great year for animation, which I guess maybe that's probably not as annoying because all of you only care when I review animated stuff, but never mind. But, like, it's a fun film. Like, even if you're not, like, super into Mario or Nintendo or whatever, it's still good just for, a f some, for like, a really fun visual experience, and there's lots of fun char creative characters, and it's really fun. Like, it's definitely the Mario movie that really we all we've been wanting for like 30 years probably because i think that's when the last one came out Oof. but it was well worth the wait and it was i really had a fun time and i honestly would love to see a sequel and speaking of which if you do see the movie make sure you stay through the end i'm not gonna say a word but stay through the end trust me but yeah mario i had a really fun time with is it amazing? No, not exactly. But is it entertaining? Oh yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. So yeah, if you're just in the mood for something animated or if you need something to take kids to over spring break or whatever, I don't know if they're still on it or anything, but this is a really good one to check out and I really had a fun time with it. So, And heck, I would love to see a sequel. I actually wouldn't mind seeing more of them. So yeah, Mario, I actually, I was expecting to really enjoy this, but I actually did. It was really fun. Okay, and for the trailers, I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Pretty excited for this one. It's It looks really, really good. I am a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I'm really excited to see what this brings to the tale. I mean... Granted, the animation is obviously trying to look like Into the Spider-Verse, which is something so many... I'm tired of lots of anime movies currently trying to do that, but uh, but that aside, I guess in this case it does kind of work, because like Spider-Verse, this is based on comic book characters, so I guess it makes sense. But it looks super fun, and fine enough, Seth Rogen is also in this one. That's why, because he's playing Bebop, and he's also producing it, but... Mutant Mayhem, yeah, I'm actually really excited to see what this brings to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's interesting to see them act like teenagers this time. It's really emphasizing that aspect, and I'm pretty excited for for this movie. I mean, as a, I, as a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think it's going to be a super fun time. Uh, I got Katak the Brave Beluga. I have no idea what the heck this is. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, because I saw the trailer. I think this is an, This must be like an independent animated movie, and it doesn't look like anything spectacular. The animation it looks all right at best, but nothing in it looks really super gripping, but I don't know. Maybe it's actually really good, and I just don't know, but really nothing really seems to interest me so far so i'm not sure about this i likely won't see it so not that it looks terrible or necessarily bad it just nothing's really keeping my interest for it so yeah i got trolls band together isn't it funny how dreamworks gave trolls a trilogy but mega mind and monsters vs aliens never got a sequel well i guess that goes to show how how you should support movies that you actually want sequels to. If you want a movie to continue so bad, you should go see them. But that aside, I actually think this looks pretty good. I did like the other two Trolls movies, and I don't know if I'll see those on the... I probably, because I saw the first one in theaters, I don't know if I'll see. But honestly, even if I don't, hey, it could be an okay rental. So yeah, Trolls band together, I'll, I'll probably see it. It looks like it will be just like the first two, just, you know, a colorful, entertaining film. 
I got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Now this one I'm definitely seeing in theaters. Like this is my most anticipated movie of the year. I know I know you're probably thinking that's really hypocritical that you you don't like people only caring about me reviewing animated stuff and yet my most anticipated movie of the year is an animated film. I never said I can enjoy them. I'm just saying that I review other stuff too. And it looks incredible, and we get to see more of Spot, which is cool. I mean, I saw this trailer already when it came out on YouTube, and it looks absolutely great. And even at the end, like, there's so many Spider-Man incarnations, and you see, like, a whole bunch, and even some of them are in, like, different animation styles. And the mixed-media animation bringing it into this the Spider-Verse world is pretty interesting, so I'm really excited to see what it brings. And... I'm sure almost pretty much 98% of these Spider-Man incarnations are just going to be cameos and not, you know, the in the part of the actual plot. But I'm really excited and I I can't wait. Only like two months left, so I'm really excited. And I got Migration. This is a new movie from Illumination and I don't really have anything to say, honestly, because they didn't show anything. Well, they did, but, like, half of it was just clips from other Illumination movies. And, I mean, animation-wise, it looks quite good, but I d it didn't explain the plot. It didn't show what the characters do. It didn't even say who was even in it. So I got nothing so far. I'll, I'll wait a little bit to see till more information's out before I decide. But, hey, I guess we'll see what happens. So... Yeah, Mario, sorry if this review was a little long, but it was a really fun time, and I thought it was a really fun film to start, like, the near the start of summer. Like, it's definitely a good film to tie us over before the big season begins, and I really thought it was fun. And if you love Mario or Nintendo, or even if you don't, if you, even if you, like I said, just like, you know, colorful, fun animated movies, like, it's really a fun film, and I really really liked it it was very it was very entertaining and well worth all this waiting illumination making a mario movie i know people were doubtful for it but it really paid off so yeah mario i really liked it so oh catch you later but with what i review next i don't know but I'll, maybe i'll see scream six pretty soon i really hope i do so be on the lookout for that so later